Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to next one. In this, we are going to discuss about a pre-request script and test script. In earlier sessions, we discussed about a different type of a HTTP methods and we have executed on a postman and we understood how we can create a collections, how we can add a environment or global variables or environment or collection level variables. So in this, we will see on top of those collections how we can run entire collection on top of that we are going to execute some tests so we will make sure api is actually passing or failing so these things we are going to discuss in this session if you are new to the fundo testers don't forget to like and share this video and don't forget to hit on a subscribe button camera rolling action We are on a postman screen and in previous sessions we discussed how we are using a parameters we have passed some data with a parameter like a page number and we discussed basic about a headers as of now we are working on a test API and we don't have authorization for a test API but however we have multiple authorization like no auth API key barrier token this will we are going to discuss in a future session when we are going to work on a Trello APIs. But here we are going to discuss about a pre-request script. For example, let's say I am working on a this post API. And here the data is static. I am passing a name as a Nissan and job as a leader. But every time in real time scenario, for example, this is the sign up API. I am creating a user. So if I pass the same data, then server should have a basic validation and this API will fail. So to avoid that, we have to pass a dynamic data. So for example, let's say I wanted to pass a dynamic data with a name, which is a Nissan. Every time I need to pass some dynamic random data. So I cannot go to this every time I this request and update the data. To avoid that, we have a beautiful section, which is a pre-request script in that we can write a few code snippets basic code snippets in a javascript and based on that we can solve our purpose so here our main aim is to generate a dynamic data for that i have written a code snippet in javascript and basically i have created a one function to generate a random text and here i am passing a length to call this function so here i am calling this function generate random text and i am getting data in a length of a 10 so here what I am expecting from that uh, string is I am looking for a capital letter it should have a small letters and it should have some numbers and then I am running a basically for loop and then I am uh, running this function and then there is a, this one is a important so here pm environment dot set and I am passing a variable name which is a random text and there we, I am basically storing this random text value here so like this i am exec i am getting a dynamic data every time and how can i integrate with the test so we simply we need to use this random text as a variable name and we have to pass with a body so here we have to pass with a body and a random text in post when wherever we are passing a dynamic data that time we have to pass in a double flower basis so i'm adding a double flower basis and i am uh, clicking on this i am passing this random text and send oops this api has failed we are getting some error and it is saying a 400 bit request but how we'll get to know that this api has failed to know that we have to basically go to the console so there is an option view and then we can see so postman console there are some data here uh, logs so we can clear this data and now we have to trigger again this request one more time and we have to check what are the errors we are getting so i am trying to explain you how you can debug that api why it is failing so basically reason of a failure is it, it must be a headers or it must be a request body so to check that we have to basically go to the request headers but here we are getting error because of a request body sometimes what happens we are passing a tokens and everything with the header so we have to make sure we are passing a correct token here so we have to check this value but here we are passing a request body and there is some area error with a request body and this the response we are getting in html form 
here we saw this response in html format and the response code is a 400 and everything we can see here and this is the basically a request body so here i can see the name we have to pass in a double quote but we are passing without double quote i have to just pass this data in a double quote and if i now run this then this should pass we are able to create a user with a dynamic data so it is starting with a da something like that and if i send again so this data has changed if i again send this data has changed so this data is changing every time i no need to go to again body and update the request body so this is the purpose of a pre-request script don't worry about uh, this snippet we are going to understand how we can write this snippet in detail in future sessions when we are going to work on a real APIs but this for a basic understanding and in a test we can assert multiple data like a status code or we wanted to assert uh, some string value i am expecting this particular response is a job i title which is a leader so i am expecting this response should have a leader i can validate the string and there are multiple things we can validate so here if you go to this section here we basically we have multiple pre-added basic script if i select on a status code 200 so basically it is added and uh, here you can see it is starting like a pm environment dot set but here it is saying a pm dot test which means it is a standard string if we are creating any function we have to do like this and uh, here uh, there in second line it is written pm response to have status 200 which means we are validating status is 200 and this is the function uh, we will understand javascript in detail to create a to write a basic function and this is a string so this can be anything in double quote i can pass anything but here we cannot change anything and i'm going to write a one more function so for example let's say i wanted to do a string check and here we are expecting something so he, here it is saying response body string so let's say i wanted to validate a string as a leader so i'm passing this and then we have to save this api otherwise this data won't get picked so if i run this but here we cannot see where it is a pass or where it is fail then we have to go to collection level because at a single api level we cannot see basically the test is run or test is passed or fail so we have to go to collection level and we have to run entire collection now we wanted to run only one request so i'm selecting only one request and running the test here you can see both the APIs are failing because we are expecting status code 201 but we are asserting a data with a 200 so we have to again update that data and now this should pass so if I'm saving this and if I'm running again this collection run again now we can see both the APIs are passing because we have added a correct validation here leader and here we are expecting the status code 201 so both the data we are getting 201 and here we are getting a leader as well so like this basic assertion will work and uh, in next session we are from next sessions we are going to discuss on a real-time api which is a trello apis there we will have a token and there we are going to write a pre-request script in detail i will show you how we can write from scratch and how we can write our own test script as well and uh, our plan is to we are going to write a few test cases based on the api so we are going to run the api in a sequence and apart from that we will see how we can pass a dynamic data let's say i have stored a data in excel file then how i can fetch those data and how i can pass with the apis in a runtime and how we can pass entire collection how we can run entire collection and how we can run a new main api testing report so everything we will see from the upcoming sessions using a trello api so from next sessions excitement will increase definitely so don't forget to like and share this video and if you are new to the fundu testers don't forget to subscribe fundu testers thank you so much